If you've got an old jug of house paint and it's got little bits of debris and flakes and stuff in it, you're going to roll it out on your walls. You could hope that you catch all those little flaws before they set up, but there's a better way. This is a tip from Bob Simpson from Cottage City, Maryland. And what Bob does is he takes one of the most common pieces of job site debris, your basic five gallon drywall bucket, and he uses this for the basis of a great paint strainer. He takes the lid, cuts the center out with a jigsaw, and then he cuts the top rim off with a jigsaw again. Now we've got a two part snap together armature that's gonna hold this uh, piece of fiberglass window screen in place. Drape the screen across it, put our lid down, and just start clicking it together. And if you wanted to be extremely fastidious about this, you could get out your utility knife and trim off all the excess material that's hanging off here. But now what we can do is put that across our nice clean drywall bucket, get out our paint with the debris in it, and start pouring. If you've got large quantities of paint to strain, you might want to let the netting hang down a little bit so that it'll create a, a larger pocket for the paint to sit in as it drains through the screen. Disaster narrowly averted. Look at that. We snagged a couple of really big hunks of trash. Great tip, Bob. Thanks for sending that in. <laughs>